What's going on guys? Tony Maritato, physical therapist here. And in this video, I've got another kind of alternative strategy, something you've probably never seen a therapist do before, but this is a way to work on getting more comfortable walking downstairs. Walking upstairs is generally pretty easy. It's generally one of those things that comes without much effort after a knee replacement. But walking downstairs requires a completely different kind of biomechanics of the knee. The knee has to translate forward. The tibia, the shin bone, has to move forward in advance of the toe. And that tends to be kind of a vulnerable position for the knee. It's uncomfortable, it's unstable for a lot of people. So what we wanna do is we wanna desensitize that knee translating forward of the toe in a way that allows the individual to be in control. So let's take a look at the video that I'm gonna show you here and then we'll talk about what we're actually doing. In this situation, you can see that's actually a punching bag on the floor. But think of it just like a big pillow, big cushion, you know, a couple couch cushions would work just as well. And basically what the individual is doing is as she kind of bends forward at the knee and then comes back up, you can see how she has a little bit of difficulty controlling the last little bit of knee flexion. Now in stair ambulation, when you're going downstairs, you're doing it on a single leg. So we transition from a double leg to a single leg. Now I've got a stable bar in front of her that she's able to hold on to so she can kind of control and use that to help manage her body weight as she goes in and out of this position. But the cushion in front of her allows her to kind of crash down a little bit on it without really causing any pain or discomfort. So. What we did before we started playing the video was she did multiple repetitions with both feet on the ground. Now we take her to a single leg as that knee translates forward. This is an exaggerated motion than what she would need to go down the stairs. But if she can tolerate and as we build the control and the strength in this position, then going down the stairs becomes 10 times easier. And I'm gonna tell you, this is the first time she has ever tried this specific exercise. This is brand new to her. So you can see it is a very challenging exercise. I do not expect anybody to do this without the supervision of a licensed physical therapist. But these are some of the things that you should be doing when you're with your physical therapist. Be sure that you're not spending your time doing the stuff that you could do at home on your own, doing the stuff that you could do safely. Spend that time, because that time is precious. Spend that time doing the stuff that you can't do on your own, that you do need an extra pair of eyes watching you so that you do continue to advance. If you have more questions, leave them in the comments below this video. Otherwise, guys, as always, thank you so much and I'll catch you next time.